the symmetry group of quasi-Bessy sequences of order 16. Preliminaries 1. Recall that each quasi-Bessy sequence of order 16 is simply the concatenation of a Bessy sequence of order 8 and its inversion. 2. A permutation that preserves or inverts quasi-Bessy sequences is called a quasi-Bessy permutation. And any physical shuffle of a packet of playing cards that yields this permutation of the cards is called a quasi-Bessy shuffle. 3. For ease of nomenclature, I will use permutation and shuffle interchangeably. 4. The set of all quasi-Bessy shuffles form a group under composition. 5. This group is called the group of symmetries of quasi-Bessy sequences or the symmetry group of quasi-Bessy sequences. 6. In what follows, we will consider the question, what is the group structure for all quasi-Bessy sequences of order 16? In other words, what is the symmetry group structure for quasi-Bessy sequences of order 16? Analyses 1. How many permutations preserve or invert quasi-Bessy sequences of order 16? Well, here is one of the two quasi-Bessy sequences of order 16. 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. It can also be expressed using indices, which will help us determine the total number of permutations that either preserve or invert this sequence structure. And recall the inversion of such a sequence is the sequence obtained by replacing zeros for ones and ones for zeros. Viewing the eight ones as equivalent but distinguishable and the eight zeros as equivalent but distinguishable, we obtain the following total number of distinct permutations that preserve or invert the above sequence structure. I should point out that for the first digit in the construction of a quasi-Bessy sequence of order 16, it can be either a 1 or a 0, which means that we have 16 possible choices for the first position, since all of these values are being viewed as distinguishable. And from there, it will be eight choices, after that seven, and then seven again, and so forth. So we see that we can actually write this product conveniently as two times eight factorial squared, which is equal to just over 3.25 billion. Number two, the cardinality of the group of symmetries that either preserve or invert quasi-Bessy sequences of order 16 is the value that we've just calculated, approximately 3.25 billion. Four, Fortuitously, among the shuffles already performed on the hidden structures channel that either preserve or invert Bessie sequences of order 16, we find several minimal generating sets for all approximately 3.25 billion elements in the symmetry group of quasi-Bessie sequences of order 16. Four, Rather surprisingly, there is one shuffle among those presented on the Hidden Structures channel that is a required member of any generating set for the symmetry group 
of quasi-Bessie sequences of order 16. This special shuffle is the Australian down under shuffle. And here is its permutation representation. Number five. I provide below a partial list of minimal sets of shuffles that generate all symmetries. The first one, a 50% cutting of the cards together with the Australian down under. A second generating set, the LR shuffle in which we stack the left pile on top of the right together with the Australian down under shuffle. Third, a pairwise transpose together with the Australian down under shuffle. Fourth, an up jog in which the even position cards are stacked on top of the odd position cards together with the Australian down under shuffle. And fifth, the Pharaoh in shuffle together with the Australian down under shuffle. Another generating set that includes our familiar LR shuffles is the following. The LR shuffle in which we stack the left pile on top of the right together with the LR shuffle in which we stack the right pile on top of the left and the Australian down under shuffle. Please note, however, that this generating set is not minimal nor are the generators independent. Since the LR shuffle in which we stack the right pile on top of the left can be removed and still generate the symmetry group of quasi Bessy sequences of order 16. I include it here because of the ubiquity of the LR shuffles and as a reminder that any shuffle that is a consequence of the stay stack principle is a member of the symmetry group of quasi Bessie sequences of order 16. But of course, the real workhorse is the Australian down under shuffle. Number six. According to GAP, a computational discrete algebra system, the group of symmetries that preserve or invert quasi Bessie sequences of order 16 is isomorphic to the following semi direct product, where A sub 8 is the alternating group on 8 letters and D sub 8 is the dihedral group of order 8. 7. Important reminder, not every analogous set of actions that constitute a Bessie shuffle will give rise to a quasi Bessie shuffle. For instance, the following Bessie shuffles, among others, are not quasi Bessie shuffles. 1. A 50% coating. 2. A Klondike shuffle. 3. The mange over under. 4. The mange under over. 5. The Bessie 1-1. One, one. 6. The Bessie 2-2. Two, two. Number 8. It is true, however, that there are judicious pairings of the above shuffles that constitute quasi Bessie shuffles. For example, the following pairings result in quasi Bessie shuffles. The Mange over under followed by the Klondike shuffle yields a pairwise transpose. The Klondike shuffle followed by the mange over under yields a packet reversal. The mange under over followed by the Klondike is the identity shuffle permutation. The Klondike followed by the mange under over is also the identity shuffle. The mange over under followed by the Bessie one one is the identity shuffle a Bessie 1-1 followed by the Mange over under 
is also the identity shuffle. The manche under over, followed by a Bessie 1 1, is equivalent to a pairwise transpose. The Bessie 1 1, followed by the manche under over, is a packet reversal. The manche over under, followed by a 50% coating, is an upjog in which the even position cards are set on top of the odd position cards. The manche under over, followed by a 50% coating, is equivalent to an upjog in which the odd position cards are set on top of the even position cards. The manche over under, followed by the Bessie 2 2, is the following permutation for which I have not found it to be equivalent to any of the shuffles presented on the Hidden Structures channel, which will also be the case for the remaining five pairings, namely the Mange under over, followed by the Bessie 2 2, a 50% coating, followed by a Klondike, a 50% coating, followed by a Bessie 1-1, one, one, a 50% coating, followed by a Bessie 2-2, two, two, a 50% coating, followed by a 50% coating, also gives us a permutation of the cards that preserve or invert quasi-Bessie sequences of order 16, even though it is not known to be equivalent to any of the shuffles presented thus far. Important observations. One, if you LR deal into two piles, a packet of cards arranged as a quasi bessie sequence of order 16, then each of these two dealt out piles will constitute a Bessie sequence of order 8. Number two, if you deal out the top eight cards of a packet arranged as a quasi bessie sequence of order 16, then the dealt out pile will constitute a bessie sequence of order 8, and the structure of the remaining eight cards in your hand will be its inversion. 3. If you divide in half a packet of cards arranged as a quasi bessie sequence of order 16 by way of an even or odd upjog, then each half will constitute a bessie sequence of order 8. 4. I wish to emphasize an important consequence of our previous analysis. Any shuffle that preserves or inverts quasi bessie sequences of order 16 has a representation as some combination of products of the two or three permutations listed within each of the six generating sets given earlier. Surprisal Interpretation 1. The total number of permutations of 16 cards is 6,435 times the number of quasi bessie shuffles of order 16. This is in stark contrast to what we found regarding bessie shuffles of order 8. In that case, the total number of permutations of 8 cards is only 35 times the number of Bessie shuffles of order 8. Number 2. Informally expressed in the language of information theory, and more specifically in units of surprisal, based on the above calculations, we find that a random shuffling of the cards that results in either preserving or inverting an arrangement of the cards as a Bessie sequence of order 8 generates log base 2 of 35 bits of surprisal, which is approximately 5 bits. Number 3. On the other hand, a random shuffling of the cards that results in either preserving or inverting an arrangement of the cards as a quasi-Bessie sequence of order 16 
generates log base 2 of 6435 bits of surprisal, which is approximately 13 bits. 4. For those who have watched my series on information theory and math card magic, you'll know how to interpret both of these answers in terms of coin tosses. In particular, 5 bits of surprisal is the degree of surprise one would experience in witnessing someone correctly predicting that five fair coins randomly tossed into the air would all land heads up. And they do. Whereas 13 bits of surprisal is the degree of surprise one would experience in witnessing someone correctly predicting that 13 fair coins randomly tossed into the air would all land heads up. And they do. So thank you for watching and please look at my playlist devoted to Bessie sequences and Bessie shuffles in which I talk about quasi Bessie sequences of order 16. So thank you for watching and take a look at other videos on the Hidden Structures channel.